Hey there guys, my name is Brandon. So the Phoenix Suns NBA Summer League 2016 is over, but there are some impressive things to talk about. So with that being said, let's talk about the Phoenix Suns NBA Summer League 2016. So welcome to the video today, guys. That's right, the Phoenix Suns NBA Summer League 2016 is over. The Phoenix Suns have a record of 4-2 and two in the NBA Summer League, and there were so many positives and a lot of takeaways and a lot of stats and facts that I want to bring to you guys. So with that being said, let's talk about it. As most of the NBA world knows and as the NBA Summer League world knows that Tyler Eulis was absolutely outstanding and hit an incredible buzzer beater shot to beat the Denver Nuggets 82 to 81. Tyler Eulis' stats definitely stand out as well. 14.5 points per game, 6.3 assists per game, and 2.8 steals. At one point, he was basically averaging four steals a game. And Tyler Eulis, who played 35 minutes a game, definitely standed out and arguably was the best point guard at NBA Summer League. Just doing so many things well, scoring points when needed, running the floor like he did at Kentucky, and Tyler Eulis with a very impressive NBA Summer League 2016. You definitely can't forget Allen Williams, who played superb in NBA Summer League, averaging 11.8 points per game, averaging a great 11.2 rebounds per game, and Allen Williams is making the All-NBA Summer League first team. It honestly is interesting that Tyler Eulis didn't make the All-NBA Summer League first team, but he did make the All-NBA Summer League second team, but still, it's a little like, eh. Alan Williams, who does make the All-NBA Summer League first team, joins Tyus Jones, Jordan McRae, Bobby Portis, and Ben Simmons. And let me tell you guys, Alan Williams definitely is a good shot blocker. If Alan Williams does make the team, the Phoenix Suns have another superb rebounder on that team behind Alex Len and Tyson Chandler. Tyler Eulis, who you can argue is one of the best point guards in NBA Summer League, and if the Phoenix Suns would have made the championship game, could have had honors for MVP of the NBA Summer League. Tyler Eulis, who makes the All-NBA Summer League second team, is joined by Jalen Brown, Thon Maker, Kelly Oubre Jr., and Norman Powell. And I cannot forget about the number four and the number eight overall picks, Dragon Bender and Marquise Chris. Marquise Chris, when he did play, was really impressive, and I hope he can put up a lot of highlights for the Phoenix Suns this season. And listen, guys, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Dragon Bender is skilled. Forget his statistics in the NBA Summer League. He did struggle in some areas. He did struggle in some games. But he is very skilled, and he is very young. We have to give Dragon Bender time, and I hope that Dragon Bender can stand out this NBA season. And the undrafted rookie out of Indiana University, Troy Williams, definitely stand it out and seemed to improve each and every single game where he averaged 12.3 points per game on 54% shooting from the floor. Troy Williams definitely did impress some people in NBA Summer League. Yes, the Phoenix Suns NBA Summer League was a success. Hopefully a lot of this can translate over into the NBA regular season. I am so excited for the Phoenix Suns next season. The Phoenix Suns definitely have a lot to be excited about. They definitely have a lot to look forward to. And Tyler Eulis definitely standing out was the MVP of Summer League in my mind. With all due respect to Tyus Jones who actually won the NBA Summer League MVP. Congratulations to Tyler Eulis on a great NBA Summer League. And yes, I was actually in Las Vegas this past weekend and got to witness Tyler Eulis' buzzer-beating shot. I was able to check out NBA Summer League, had a lot of cool moments, got to witness a lot of cool things, talked to some really cool people, and had myself an absolute blast in Las Vegas. So the NBA Las Vegas Summer League 2016 was a success. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. My name is Brandon. Please subscribe to this channel for future Phoenix Suns videos and future NBA videos and a whole lot more. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Please leave me your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Leave a like if you liked the video and I'll see you guys next time.